das ist natürlich ein Dialog zwischen Tracy Emin und Egon Schiele. A dialogue between the two artists, so therefore it's drawing and therefore it's uh, sensuality, <coughs> therefore it's corporality <coughs> and because of this it's about lonesomeness and solitude and therefore it's about longing and desire, it's about love and therefore it's about futility and the passing of everything. And therefore it's about life and and so it's about drawing and doing art. You all have heard about uh, in recent days about the new way of hanging the shiles. Uh, we wholeheartedly embraced this new spacey uh, presentation of Schiele works and I felt like in the poem by Goethe, the Fischer, sie sprach zu ihm, sie sang zu ihm, da war's um ihn geschehen, halb zog sie ihn, halb sank er hin und ward nicht mehr gesehen. Viel Freude mit dieser Ausstellung. The show, I think, the show is self-evident. When you walk around the show, it's so clear, it's so concise, it's unapologetic. And what I really wanted from this exhibition is, I feel a lot of artists are trapped within, they're, all, they're kind of like, they're held by their nationality, by their country, by the time that they were born. And Egan Schiele is a fantastic example of this. Vienna, Austria, owns Egan Schiele. They won't release him. The same as Norway owned Edvard Munch, and they wouldn't release him. And I made this joke about the French own Picasso, and he's not even French. And there's a kind of, it's like with Egon Schiller, he's, he's stuck in between, you know, 1900 and, and 1918, and he's never released. And I've loved his work since I was a teenager. And every time I've seen it, I, I visit the Neue Gallery in New York often. Any, any show, even she the shows on in the world, I'll try to visit and see. And always his work is shown exactly the same way. And for me, the Coulthard Institute in London, as amazing as the works were, they were shown in the smallest galleries with the lowest ceilings, and they were wall to wall. They were like hung like wallpaper. And so you walked around this exhibition like a naughty dog, just going like that. Nodding, looking at these different shoes. For me, I would have more pleasure in looking at a book in my own home and thinking and breathing and 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 thinking about the works than I would do in a gallery crowded by people staring into this tiny little image. And I wanted to release Egon Schiele from, from that. I, want, I wanted people to be able to breathe when they saw his work. And I wanted his work to breathe, not just literally, but in terms of globally. And I wanted his work to be released into the world, into a contemporary setting. And at the same time, I wanted my work to actually resonate and, and be shown next to and in a way and with someone that I really um, appreciate and someone I really respond to. I feel my work is pigeonholed in Britain, in London in the 1990s. I feel his work is pigeonholed in, in, in Vienna you know, in, in the 1900s. And I think it's a really good um, like dialogue between us, and it's in a way it's quite beautiful. That you know, I'm looking at one work; it's like 1915, and I was thinking, wow, that's like really 100 years ago. This man, this young man, was sitting there painting, looking at this gouache, painting, maybe thinking about the next brushstroke. I don't know. And I was thinking, well, wow, I wonder if he, I wonder if this work resonates and still has the power of the artist within it. I wonder if part of the artist can still come through. I wonder if he knows that I'm here thinking this. I wonder if he's aware that we're showing his work in a completely different way, in a way in which it's never been shown before. I wonder if he's in agreement. I wonder if he's angry. And, and it's, it's been really not what I expected. I expected me to be very 
kind of not so romantic about it. I, I'm amazed um, at how um, um, it's almost like um, you know, like talking to the dead and believing that you can really hear them. It's been a very beautiful um, experience to hang the show. Really, really lovely.